It's been about a month since my last Two Minute Tuesday, guys, so I know I gotta get back on schedule. But from today, moving forward, we're gonna try something new with Two Minute Tuesdays. We're gonna do sort of a live Q&A after the video is posted. So if you comment within an hour after this video is posted, I'll be down in the comment section answering all of your questions as long as they don't pertain to an order. That's something you're gonna have to take up with our sales team. But if you have questions on products, installs, or reviews, or anything of that sort, leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll be down there to answer them. It is Two Minute Tuesday, and we are gonna be covering a subject that I think a lot of you guys will be interested in, the good old catch can versus air oil separator. What do they do, why do you need them, and what are the differences? That is what we're gonna be talking about today. So let's put two minutes on the clock, and let's get rolling. We gotta start off by talking about your PCV system, which is your positive crankcase ventilation system. There's pressure built up inside of your crankcase due to a couple things like oil vapor and your piston rings not sealing 100%, but that needs to be vented so you don't blow any seals, but you can't vent it out to the atmosphere because that's bad for the environment and the EPA doesn't allow that, so you have to vent it through your intake. And that whole process can lead to oil being pulled through your intake, leaving you with carbon deposits and it can lower your effect fuel octane so your engine doesn't run safely or efficiently, which is why you need an AOS or catch can. That is gonna prevent the oil from being pulled back through your intake. Starting with the catch can first, this is the simpler of the two. It is literally a can with fittings that's gonna collect the oil. Some of the more expensive ones may have baffles built in to improve the effectiveness, but this being the more simple of the two between the AOS, it is gonna be a little bit cheaper compared to an air oil separator. Now, you do have to monitor this and empty it periodically. You wanna make sure it doesn't fill up all the way, otherwise you're gonna be sucking oil back through the system. And AOS, on the other hand, has a lot more baffles built in to help fully separate the oil vapor from the air before it routes back into the intake. And it routes the oil that it collects back into your engine so you don't have to monitor this, empty it, or check your oil levels. So this is pretty much a set it and forget it kind of product. Another cool thing is it routes coolant through the housing to help heat up the oil back to engine temps because PCV oil that's caught tends to froth and Ew. foam up, so the coolant heating up helps prevent that. Now, since this is a more intricate solution and a more convenient solution, it is going to be a bit more pricey than a catch can. At the end of the day, if you do a lot of performance driving or you just like the convenience factor, an AOS like this IAG one is definitely a worthwhile investment. We're actually gonna be installing this one on our WRX, so watch out for that installation video. Otherwise, if you wanna save some money and you're okay with monitoring this and making sure it gets empty when it needs to, a catch can can also be a cheap, effective solution. And that pretty much covers it for this week's Two Minute Tuesday, guys. I will leave a link to the two products I showcased in this video down below and a quick reminder, we will be doing a live Q&A after this video is posted for about an hour. So if you have any questions on whatever it is, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. I'll see you guys next week.